All right, welcome back to my soul, Lana family. Appreciate each and every one of you guys for sticking around on a day-to-day -day basis, guys. You know, this right here is what it's all about. This right here, this literally right in front of us. Um, I'm sure now, you know, based on the comments that I receive on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, it kind of gives me an indication that my viewers are starting to learn a lot. And even if I'm giving you guys a little bit of knowledge, just a little bit, it just makes me feel fulfilled, right? Um, and I appreciate you guys for sticking around and, you know, leaving such crazy, overwhelming positive support. It just means the world to me. So if you're looking at the overall market, exactly what we spoke about yesterday, you know, Bitcoin uh, was projecting that, you know, could have a positive start to the week because, you know, um, Bitcoin closed uh, its daily candle yesterday at 67,000 and that did end up happening. So you saw the entire market um, going up and you're looking at soul up 2.1 percent loving what i'm seeing here right now uh you know if you're looking at the price right now 195 dollars 19 cents up 2.6 percent in usd comparative there's a lag in btc comparative right now uh down about 3.1 percent but that is not something that i'm too worried about market cap on the other hand 86.6 billion dollars guys we're approaching 90 billion dollars faster than you know it and the 24 hour trading volume is currently sitting at 4.3 billion dollars like this is something i you know honestly like speaking guys this is something i still cannot wrap my head around completely at the fact that you know last year the amount of uncertainty and just based off of the amount of views that i used to get on my videos just tells you that you know the interest level was just extremely low but you know the people that took advantage of that time you know people that understood what they were doing are really smiling right now and you know possibly some of them are already before it's even all time highs are sitting at life changing gains and you know like i said it's still so hard for me to understand how soul was at those levels last year I, you know not just soul a lot of other projects and um, that's just crazy to me but anyways let's uh, continue before i do get into it as always just a quick disclaimer for everyone anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency so you know it's not a crypto zx update unless we look at Solana's total value locked. Just look at it. I'm not I'm just going to let this speak for itself. We're looking at 4.646 billion dollars in terms of its total value locked. So we've seen literally over the last I could say 2 to 3 days about 640 billion dollars that has, you know, flown into the Solana ecosystem. So to all the haters saying, oh, crypto ZX, why, you know, the, you know, why is the Solana price dumping? You know, Solana is going to go back down to 80 bucks. Solana is going to go back down to $20. Ha ha ha. Look at Solana, you know, dumping, you know, after, you know, we did see that flash crash recently. The amount of negative comments that started coming in was just beyond funny to me. And these are the people that don't understand the markets. And <clears throat> I'm sure my viewers understand what's going on. You never want to be on the weak hand side. What I mean by that is never leverage trade and don't fall for, um, you know, moves like this especially in a bull market i think we still have about eight to nine months time period um and within that time period if that's where you're going to be locking in profits best thing for you to do is not get shaken out and just have strong hands as long as you've done your due diligence and research and have invested where you can afford to lose but loving what i'm seeing for the DeFi, and this number is going to climb day by day you'll see uh but now if we're looking at <laughs> solana liquidations <laughs> oof i feel bad for bears Psych, I don't feel bad for bears at all. Bears deserve this. Anyone that had the audacity to even leverage trade, even whether you're longing or shorting, you must have you know, a, so much courage to do that. And this is what I mean. Leverage trading, it's, it's luck. 99% of the time you'll end up losing money. Look at this 9.91 million liquidated in shorts as Solana price recovered from $172 in the last 24 hours. And I've discussed this with you guys yesterday. Strong projects will definitely react to Bitcoin's move, whether it's down or up. Um, but you know, the ones that are on the strong momentum side that have a lot of things going for themselves, they usually tend to bounce back way quicker. And that's what we saw happen with our good old friend Sol. Going down, you can see this is huge. Um, you know, Jupiter Exchange announces that the first batch of rewards for Jupe active, active, wow, wow, active stakers will drop in July. Jupe staking rewards will be directly added to the existing stake accounts. Amazing, amazing stuff. <clears throat> As you guys know, I'm a huge believer on Jupiter Exchange, and I think this is one of the ones that a lot of people completely 
forgot about um, you know when it was around 40 cents but you know once it started reaching that dollar price point you know people are like rushing back up all of a sudden they're so bullish on Jupiter this and that which is beyond funny to me let's take a look at Jupiter as to what it's doing right now look at this guys Jupiter at $1.38 and almost at a $2 billion market cap Am I even surprised at this point? Absolutely not. Imagine the people that paper handed their uh, bags at 40 cents. <sighs> Oof, I wish um, I wish you guys understood what you were doing. But anyways, let's keep going. Um, if you're looking at this, another day, another record for a Solana protocol. So Solana's native marketplace, Magic Eden, maintains its dominance in the marketplace user across all chains. So you're looking at Magic Eden killing it right now um you know obviously compared to its competitors open c tensor is also um you know solana based but you know looking at basically the other big boys they're just getting completely outpaced by solana itself and again not a surprise to me your boy crypto zx projected literally i i don't usually brag i'm sorry i usually don't brag but when it comes down to this thing it just makes me so 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 happy go back to my old videos actually Right before that pump, um, you know, that we saw even just a few months back, I was saying we're about to see a huge, huge meme coin season that's going to take place on the Solana blockchain, as well as a huge NFT uh, mania. Exactly that end up happening. Sometimes the signs are right in front of you. The people that, you know, understand it early. Maybe there's other projects that I don't understand, you know, early on. And there's a lot, right? You can't, um, I'm not calling myself Mr. Perfect Man here. Um, you know, I make a lot of mistakes, but you know, with Solana, all the signs were right in front of us, and this is just insane stuff that we're seeing, like historic. Um, you know, we do tend to hear some people, you know, Ethereum uh, Maxi saying, "Oh no, Ethereum is never going to get taken over." You know, Ethereum this and that. Obviously, in terms of market valuation, maybe not, maybe not this cycle. But if you're telling me in not the next two, three years, or maybe the next cycle that you know there's another uh, project like such as Solana or another uh, big chain that could come and take over Ethereum, um, I, I'd say you know I'd be lying to myself. I think that chance is definitely there. Uh, but moving forward, you can see. Solana Perp's volume surpasses 460 million on Jupiter over the past 24 hours. Love what I'm seeing there. So dominance index around 53.69% went up a little bit, uh, but nothing too crazy. You know, if you're looking at BTC, beautiful, beautiful bounce. Remember the confirmation that I discussed at 68K mark. Um, I was saying that, you know, if we're able to break out of that Monday morning, I am optimistic, you know, we will see Bitcoin climbing back above 70K. And, you know, we did see Bitcoin, as a matter of fact, go up to 71,500 love that um and i think you know bitcoin has everything for itself to close out the month of march which by far was the biggest month um in terms of bullish momentum um i think it's gonna close that month out on a positive note by hitting an all-time high because only a four percent move for uh, btc to hit an all-time high and i think that is very achievable but now we're going on the price of our good old friend look at this bounce imagine you know let's let's actually uh, have a moment of silence for all the haters and i'm sorry you know there were so many haters you know when the price of soul retested 166 dollars support line this is why you know you know this kind of ticks me off this is why i take a look at bitcoin on a day-to-day -day basis okay imagine someone just completely only looking at uh, solana charts on a day-to-day -day basis you're looking at solana just go completely down and you're probably scratching your head oh, wait what's going on why is solana moving so down and i'm talking about a huge chunk of people that actually think like this uh, that don't know anything uh you know in terms of correlation this is why i try to educate as much as possible the information that i know um and you know i try to tell you guys to incorporate the bitcoin charts on you know, you know whenever you are taking a look at any asset class because everything is correlated um, and you can see this for yourself as Bitcoin uh, you know bounce you are seeing soul bouncing and I've said oh, we're seeing a very similar price pattern playing out for soul and um, you know BTC and you can see this for yourself a beautiful bounce uh, above the hundred and ninety dollars which I've discussed let's take a quick look at the hourly time frame and see what is happening man this is a thing of beauty you know especially if you're looking at it uh, from February 23rd uh, price of uh, where it was at $101 you know since then you know look at this upward trajectory beautiful beautiful chart and obviously right now you are seeing some resistance coming in its way right now which kind of dates back to the previous cycle as well but um, honestly Tuesday morning if Bitcoin is able to push back above 71k start retesting you know these highs um, I think you know we are about to see soul ripping up towards the 23.6 once again um, and you know back like it never left so one thing I want you guys to understand is look even in a bull market you will see drops of 20% plus you will see this get used to this 
you will see this. It's not going to be straight in one line. Let's kind of go back. Actually, I'm trying to teach everyone. I try my absolute best. Um, and, you know, I appreciate you guys' support. You guys uh, seem to actually understand that. So if you're looking at it on December 25th, we got went up to $125, went all the way down to 79 a 37% drop. There's never a straight line. You might think that, you know, Seoul has just been on an upwards trend, uh, you know, going straight completely uh, since, you know, November, October and November, but that's not the case. You know, this has happens um and you know this is part of the game uh, but yeah that is it for today's update love each and every one of you guys we'll see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out